Today we're taking another look at Terra's Lunar Coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Lunar go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into the Lunar Coin chart, guys. If you'd like to buy Luna or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. And as you all know, I am very, very bullish on Luna. And what we've just seen over the past few days proves why that is the case. I mentioned in our last video, we're going to start seeing a bit of an uptrend from this period of time. And from a technical perspective, things were getting tight. But it's the fundamentals that have driven this run and we hit on the 26th of February a value a day high of $79.69 US. Currently we're sitting at a value right now of $73.81 and it's the fundamentals that have driven this one. It has been the increased demand for UST and there's been quite a big shift towards UST. The market cap of it is now about a value of 12 to 13 billion dollars so that's absolutely huge nowhere near usdt which is well over 51 52 million or somewhere thereabouts but it is getting there and because people have been shifting more money into ust just due to the uncertainty around you know bitcoin and just the overall markets the war going on in ukraine at the moment this is what has happened as demand for ust increases so does Luna. So that's why we're seeing this. We're seeing Luna burn off, supply shortages, demands increasing. We are going up. And the most important thing that has just occurred is the downtrend has been broken. So as you can see, on the 27th of December, we hit our all time high of $106. And we've been downtrending since that point. But as you can see right here on the 23rd of February, we managed to smash through it. We tested it on the 22nd and then were eventually able to get back through. It was looking a bit shaky, of course, over here on the 24th of February. We got down back to a low of $50.27, but of course, shot straight back up. And now that this trend has been broken, that means we are moving back in the right direction once again, moving back into our uptrend. And as you can see, if you recall from my previous videos, I used to have a big uptrend line coming through here. I got rid of it because it didn't become as relevant anymore, but as you can clearly see, this line is now well and truly back in play. Not only did we break this downtrend, we broke back above our original long-term uptrend as well. So all in all, looking very, very good. I'm gonna get rid of this line here just because it's in the way now, but that was our little short-term uptrend. Now what we're seeing form is a potential flag pattern and it is bullish. The reason it is bullish is due to the fact that the downtrend's been broken, we're now into an uptrend, and then the bullish sign is a continuation pattern of the current trend that we're in. So we can see the flag has gone up in this sort of a manner, and we're starting now to see a little bit of, of course, sorry, the pole went up, now we're seeing the flag form. So I'm expecting the flag is going to look something like this. I'm using the bottom end, as you can see, as the three key points of contact for us. We didn't get out the top end, but that is a beautiful, beautiful chart we are seeing right there. And this is the typical flag pattern. This is textbook stuff. And what we're expecting to see is a bit of consolidation after a nice big run and then a break upwards to continue moving in the right direction. Now, how long that will take? Not too sure, but you can already see that volume is starting to drop off as consolidation does occur. So all in all, looking very, very positive at this point in time. It's also worth pointing out we have managed to avoid the 20 day moving average crossing below the 200 day moving average. And now it's actually moving back up towards that 50 day moving average. So currently our 20 day moving average is sitting at $58, our 50 days at $62. That is moving sharply upwards. If we see that, that is what is known as a golden cross and indicates that in the short term, at least, we will start to see a continuation of this uptrend we've had forming now. Now, interestingly enough, we do have these horizontal lines as well, which we had previously as our horizontal points of support and resistance. First one over here at 68, obviously that got absolutely smashed, but you can see I'm gonna put it back in place probably just about here, I believe. There we go, that's 
that is probably going to be the point at which we start to see the consolidation you know move towards and then things will start getting tight and a break will potentially occur and we're going to basically just extend this nice little line out down here of course and that will really give us a good idea of when it's going to occur the tight point will be by the 11th of March. So we're talking within the next one and a half weeks, we're gonna see another breakout occur. It could happen quickly, might take the entire period of time, but that, in my opinion, is the time frame for this to occur. We do also have this other horizontal point at 78. I'm gonna extend that one out for your reference. And this looks like basically where we got caught up from, you know, the stoppage of our quick little pump that we did see this was the point at which we weren't able to break through and is basically going to be the key target for us to hit so as we start to trend in a downwards manner towards this horizontal point of support at 68 we'll then eventually break the flag pattern and move up and with this 78 dollar mark being a key test point for us to get through in the near future so that really is the target for us 78 dollars after a nice little break of this flag that we are seeing at this point in time. So what other indicators can we have a look at? RSI first and foremost, as you can imagine, has shot up and of course went into the overbought region. I'm not surprised. We went from quite literally a low on the 20th of February and that was $47 all the way to that high on the 26th of February of $79. No surprises there at all we shot up from an rsi of over here on 39.70 all the way up here to 71.47 we come back down now we're currently sitting at 64.52 i expect that to drop though as we start to see some consolidation occur that further supports our theory as to what is currently going on macd the next one we're going to have a look at as you can see here we are still trending well we were going to have a cross of the 12 day EMA below the 26 day EMA, but that was averted when we managed to break out. And of course, both the EMAs are now moving in the right direction. And we've had quite a nice sustained green period here. But of course, right now the beauty is we've got the volume coming in to support it and we are moving in the right direction. So all in all, looking really, really good, really, really strong and bullish at this point in time. As I mentioned before, my target for today's video is of course a break of the top end of our flag pattern here and then move straight up to test that $78 mark. That wraps up our analysis today on Lunar Coin, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.